Hello again, and welcome back to part two of Cosmos the Curious Whale. We left Cosmos wishing he had listened to his friends when they told him he wouldn't find any polar bears in Antarctica. But he was brave. He said goodbye to the penguins, turned around and headed for the Arctic. The sea became warmer. Then what a surprise. Cosmos could hardly believe his own eyes. Shells of colourful fish, so vibrant and bright, swam in the coral and the sparkling sunlight. Three cheers, Cosmos cried. Hip, hip, hooray. I've arrived in the tropics. I must be halfway. It took many weeks. The distance was vast. Cosmos lost count of the countries he passed. He swam through each day and most of each night. Then the sea turned to ice and the land became white. He'd arrived in the Arctic. Soon he could see a shape in the distance. What could it be? It had small round ears and a shiny black nose, a short stubby tail and claws on its toes. Its mountainous body was covered in hair. At last, Cosmos cried, a real polar bear. But she was pacing the ice and seemed to be crying. The noise was so loud, it was quite terrifying. Brave Cosmos swam closer and popped up his head. Is something the matter, polar bear, he said. My baby is lost, cried sad mother bear. What can I do? I've looked everywhere. I've searched high and low, but it's all been in vain. I'm afraid I'll never see him again. Then Cosmos called out in a voice strong and clear. Don't cry, Mother Bear, I have an idea. Mummy Whale told me some time ago how the warm summer sun makes cracks in the flow and large chunks of ice float far out to sea. I think I can guess where your baby might be. He's adrift on the waves. I'm sure I can find him, he said, looking round at the ocean behind him. He swam out to sea, feeling sure he was right. And at last, several ice floes came into sight, sitting on one, looking frightened and small. Cosmos could see a white furry ball. The lost polar bear. He had finally found him with nothing but sea and ice all around him. Don't be frightened said Cosmos. Just try to be strong and sit very still. I'll push you along. The moon is full, the stars are bright. We can find our way by their shimmering light. And when the sun rose and night turned to day and the sky became blue and the stars went away, Mother Bear watched in surprise and delight as Cosmos and Baby Bear came into sight. Then Baby Bear leapt to his mum on the shore, where she hugged him and squeezed him and hugged him some more. Thank you, young Cosmos, she called out, and then she hugged Baby Bear again and again. I'm glad I could help you, but now I must go. It's time I swam back to my mother, you know. I can't wait to see her, Cosmos said with a sigh. It's a very long time since we both said goodbye. Then Cosmos the Whale sang another new song to tell all his friends he'd be home before long. The news travelled fast. His friends swam out to meet him. And of course, Mother Whale was the first one to greet him. I've missed you so much, Mum happily cried. And I've missed you too, Cosmos replied. I've had such an adventure, it's certainly true. But the best place on earth is right here with you. I've traveled enough, I've come home for a while. And Mother Whale smiled, her big, whaley smile. Can you read the last line with me? Mother Whale smiled, her big, whaley smile and I hope that brought a big whaley smile to your face as well. That's the end of the story.
but now you can remember where you find polar bears and where you find penguins and it's not in the same place. Polar bears live in the Arctic and penguins live in the Antarctic. Well done. That's all for now. Goodbye.